Hello everyone. I hope all of you are well. Uh, my name is Anisur Rahman and I am currently working as a software engineer in Epscot since one year. In today's webinar session, I am talking about a workload or a single standalone PVC backup and restoring via volume snapshots using our QV stash. Here is a table of contents section. At first, I am, I am talking about uh, a volume snapshots in Kubernetes. And the next slide will be backup process using volume snapshots. Then the next will be restore procedure using volume snapshots. And then the next will be live walkthrough and demonstration using volume snap, uh, uh, demonstration. And at last here, we also have a QA session. Let's go into the next slide. In, in this slide, I am talking about volume snapshots in Kubernetes. And the first topic I will describe, what is volume snapshots? In Kubernetes, uh, a volume snapshots is a feature that uh, allows user uh, to take a point in time snapshots of Kubernetes volume. Uh, use case of volume snapshots, uh, we can capture the content of a volume uh, of a persistent volume at a specific moment of time so that we can uh, back up a volume using volume snapshots. Hence, uh, in PVC YAML conf configuration, under the data source reference, we can provide a namespace, uh, a volume snapshot namespace and name. That means uh, we can restore a volume to a prior state or provision a new volume using volume snapshots. We also can migrate our volume into different cluster or into different storage system. Now, uh, here is a diagram. This diagram shows how volume snapshots works in Kubernetes. Uh, when we create a persistent volume claim, uh, we can specify a volume snapshot namespace and name. Uh, under the YAML configuration, this diagram shows how a PVC provision a PV from the volume snapshot in Kubernetes. Uh, at first, the volume snapshot uh, requests a volume snapshot content into volume snapshot class as similar to the uh, APBC uh, request a volume into the storage class. Here is the similar concept uh, how PVC works and uh, between PVC and volume snapshots. Then the volume snapshot class uh, um, allow you to set attribute uh, for the snapshot like the types of storage provider like CSI and other details uh, to cloud provider such as Azure, GCP, AWS, OpenStack, and more. After that, this volume snapshot class request a volume snapshot uh, content uh, like uh, into the storage provider or CSI driver. Uh, this volume snapshot content is actually the reference of the actual snapshot. This snapshot content is uh, stored into CSI uh, provider storage system. Uh, think of it as saving a, this storage uh, volume snapshot content is like a uh, image. Think of it as saving a photo on your computer hard drive and as like volume snapshot is stored into CSI provisional storage provider storage system. This is how volume snapshot works. Now let's go into the next, sli next slide. And in this uh, section, I am talking about a backup process using volume snapshot. This diagram shows you how backup pro process works in our QV stash. First of all, a user create a backup configuration. QV stash operator watch this backup configuration and start normal backup process. QV stash operator creates a cron job Cron job is responsible for creating backup session and backup session resolve all add-on function and add-on images uh, and create a backup job. 
now this backup job is responsible for for creating a, a volume snapshot. Uh, let's assume that you have a workload application with three PVC as PVC one, PVC two, PVC three as its storage volume. Backup job target those PVC and create volume snapshots with each corresponding PVC. Here you see that uh, volume snapshot one with corresponding PVC one, volume snapshot two for PVC two and volume snapshot three for PVC three. Now, if you consider that uh, you, you want to back up a single standalone PVC and for this backup job target this single standalone PVC and creates a single volume snapshot for this corresponding PVC. Uh, this is how backup process work uh, using volume snapshots. Now, uh, this section I am talking about restore process using volume snapshots. Uh, this is like vice versa of backup process. Uh, let's see how the rest, uh, restore process work. At first, a user create a restore process. QV stash operator watch this restore process and start normal restore process. Uh, as like uh, uh, rest, uh, QV operator resolve all add on function and uh, provided volume template and and create restore job. Now restore job is responsible for restoring. Uh, consider that previously you back up a workload application with three PVC as its storage system as PVC1, PVC2, and PVC3. And uh, for this uh, three PVC, backup job creates these three volume snapshots. Uh, in our restore job, uh, gather all of the volume snapshot information from our QVStash operator custom snapshot object, especially from snapshots status. And for this uh, for each corresponding uh, volume snapshot, restore job creates single PVC for each of them. Like uh, here is an example for volume snapshot one, a restore job creates PVC one for volume snapshot two, restore job creates PVC two, and for volume snapshot three, PVC uh, restore job creates PVC three. Now, if you consider that you might back up earlier a standalone PVC. Now restore job and for restoring the restore job uh, targets this single volume snapshots and create a single standalone PVC. And this is how the restore process work using volume snapshots. Now let's move on to the next slide. And this uh, here is a live demo section. So for this, let's move on uh, our my terminal window. This is my terminal window, uh, and I will describe my, each of the terminal section. This section I am watching backup configuration, backup session, and restore session in demo namespace. Uh, this terminal section I am watching. Uh, a workload stateful set application in demo namespace. Uh, this terminal section, I am watching volume snapshots, uh, which is our desired object for backupping and in demo namespaces. And this section, this terminal section, I am watching PVC in demo namespace. For the simplicity, I previously uh, apply backup storage. Let's uh, Let's see backup storage YAML first. Uh, this is my previously applied uh, backup storage. I am using uh, Google Cloud Storage as a storage system. And my storage bucket name is Epscot QA. And my backup storage name is uh, GCS Storage. Now I am going to apply um, a, a a workload application which will be uh, which will be I backup. 
let's see this uh, uh, workload application YAML first. Uh, this is my backup uh, 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 workload application YAML. I am using a stateful set and this uh, stateful set name is target stateful set in demo name space. And I also mount two volume as source data and source config. And with mount path source slash data and source slash config. I also insert uh, some dummy data uh, into uh, mount path directory as data.txt and config.cfg. Now let's apply uh, our target stateful set application. Here you see that our target stateful set application are created and here this this section i am watching stateful set application as you can see our target stateful set are created uh, ago uh, 16 second and this section mm, i am watching pvc in demo space here you see that mm, all of our our pvcs are created created which corresponding this stateful set hence i am I am mounted to two volume and I am I give a replica S2 then for each of replica two uh, uh, PVC are created and in total four PVC are created for this state target stateful set. Hence my target application are ready that means uh, each of replicas are ready to use. Now I am going to apply a backup configuration. Uh, before applying backup configuration, let's have a look backup configuration YAML. Uh, this is my backup configuration YAML. Under the target section, I provide my stateful target stateful set application name as target stateful set under the demo namespace. Under the back, uh, under the backend section, I provide my backup storage name as GCS storage. Uh, and under the session section, I provide a schedule as three minute. Uh, also provide repository information, and here also provide uh, add-on information. And my tasks are volume snapshot because of I am uh, trying to backup workload application using volume snapshot. Uh, look at here that uh, under the params section, I provide a volume snapshot class name as GCI, uh, CSI GCPD snapshot class. Uh, in your case, that might be different. Uh, if you uh, don't provide any volume snapshot class name, then backup job uh, uh, attached a default volume snapshot class name in your cluster, from your cluster. Uh, now uh, let's apply backup configuration. Uh, when I apply backup configuration in this terminal section, you will see uh, volume snapshots which are created. Now let's apply backup configuration. Let's have a look here. As you can see, our volume snapshots are created and I schedule time at three minute. Uh, so uh, in the meantime, until the backup session are created, let's verify our uh, one of our stateful set port uh, and go inside mount part directory where we, uh, let's see here data have or not, our inserted data have or not. Let's exec one of our target stateful set port. Here I exact a target uh, stateful set zero port. Now let's go into the mount part directory. Here 
here you see that data.txt which are our inserted dummy data now let's uh, get this and this data contains uh, this file contains sample data text and when the backup session trigger this data will be backed up and in the backup session section you see that uh, a backup session are triggered and which are already in running phase and in this uh, volume snapshot uh, watching section you see that uh, for each of of this uh, pvc uh, for a single pvc a single volume snapshots are created that's mean for four pvc four volume snapshot are created and you also see that all of these uh, all of these volume snapshots are ready to use that's mean successfully create volume snapshot and in this uh, backup session section you see that uh, our uh, backup session phase are success succeeded that meant backup uh, data are successfully backup now um, i'm going to um, uh, restoring our uh, uh, restoring i am going to apply a restore session before apply restore session let's have a look our restore session yaml file uh this is my restore session yaml file let's describe a little bit under the data source uh, section i provide repository name and snapshots as the latest uh, uh, we also provide a pvc add-on and task volume snapshot restore and here look up here that we also provide volume claim template that's mean uh, restore job resolve this name and uh, when uh, re restore job uh, creates a pvc then the name will be this resolving name and let's apply this restore session Uh, here you see that our restore session are created and already in running phase. In the meantime, uh, uh, in this section, you see that already two PVC are restored and their status in pending. Let's wait a little bit until they are in bound state. Uh, almost two of the our restored PVC are in bound state. Uh, backup session, uh, restore session are in running phase. This means we take a little bit more time. And you see that our restore session are succeeded. Okay, on backup. Okay, let's patch our backup configuration. Now you see that our four restored uh, PVC are created. If we exact one of this PVC under the data source section, we can find one of these uh, stateful uh, volume snapshot name. Let's exact it and verify this. Uh, here you see that under the data source reference section, there is uh, a volume snapshot reference as volume snapshot and a volume snapshot name which are backed up. <clears throat> now uh, the restore session uh, are succeeded and we have to verify this, the, the restore session are, are uh, restored data are restored successfully. Uh, for verifying this, I am going to apply another stateful set application and this stateful set application use this, uh, this, this for restored uh, PVC. 
before applying this, le let's have a look of our our uh, uh, another stateful set application YAML. Uh, this is our another restore stateful set application. And this application name is restore stateful set, which are also in demo namespace and which also mount to volume as restore data, restore config, and also uh, with corresponding mount path as source data, source config. And let's have a look under the argument. We did, we, we not provide any uh, insert data. That's mean, and the restore uh, also provide volume claim template and restore data and restore config. When uh, this uh, stateful set operator uh, try to uh, uh, create PVC, then they found that these uh, PVC are already is created. So they didn't uh, create any other further PVC. They will use these four PVC. Now let's apply this uh, restore stateful set application. As you see, our restore state full set application are created. Let's wait a little bit until these uh, these applications uh, replica spots are ready to use. Uh, you see that in this section, uh, our restore state full set application uh, have two replicas and two uh, two of them are ready to use. Now let's verify the our restore data. So for verifying this, uh, I would like to uh, ex exact a a port uh, for which are for um, uh, using a restore state full set application spot. So let's exact a single port of this uh, application. Okay, here I exact exact on of uh, this uh, on of this application port as restore state full set zero. Now let's go into the mount part directory. Here you see that uh, a data dot txt file are restored. Let's get this for that checking data redundancy. And you can see that on uh, uh, data.txt content sample data text. And we can see that our, we can see and prove that our restore session uh, are worked and our backup and restore worked. This is all about uh, live demo section. If you have any question regarding this, uh, webinar you can ask oh uh, well i think nobody have any question so let's go into the next slide